Sunday School on Valentine's Day. I'm Miss Susan and I want you to know that Jesus loves you and I do too. We'll be looking in the Bible at times when Jesus interacts with children and when he talks about love. First though, I'd like to talk about what happens this week on Wednesday. We will celebrate Ash Wednesday. Now each year, Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent and is always 46 days before Easter Sunday. Lent is a 40-day season, not counting Sundays, marked by repentance, fasting, reflection, and ultimately celebration. The 40-day period represents Christ's time of temptation in the wilderness, where he fasted and when Satan tempted him. Lent asks believers to set aside a time each year for a similar fasting, marking an intentional season of focus on Christ's life, ministry, sacrifice, and resurrection. In many congregations, including ours, the ashes are prepared by burning palm branches from Palm Sunday the year before and mixing them with oil. On Palm Sunday, Churches bless and hand out palm branches to attendees, a reference to the Gospel's account of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem when onlookers laid palm branches on his path. The ashes of this holiday symbolize two main things, death and repentance. Ashes are equivalent to dust, and human flesh is composed of dust, or ashes, clay, from Genesis 2. And when we die, we return to dust or ashes. When we come forward to receive ashes on Ash Wednesday, we are saying that we are sorry for our sins and that we want to use the season of Lent to correct our faults, purify our hearts, and grow in holiness so we will be prepared to celebrate Easter with great joy. Now, because of the restrictions we have right now due to COVID, We'll not have a worship service on Wednesday, but we can go to the church and receive ashes on our forehead or our hands and receive communion in a drive through situation available either in the morning or in the late afternoon. So try and plan on that with your family. Now, let's look at Jesus and his love for children. You know, when word got around that Jesus was near, many people wanted to come and listen to him. Many parents went home and got their children so they could listen also. The parents wanted their children to see Jesus and to be blessed by him. Let's see what happened. In Mark 10, verses 13 through 16, we read, People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. Have you ever been treated like the disciples treated the children? People told you to go away or they wouldn't listen to you because you were a child. It's very frustrating. Jesus tells us that you are very important to him and to God. Your innocence and willingness to believe are wonderful examples to adults and Jesus sees that. Jesus came into this world as a baby. He knows what it's like to be a little child. He understands what it is to put your trust in someone completely. Jesus will never betray that trust. Okay, I'm going to sing a song. Now, I'm not very good at singing. I get off key a lot. But here goes. I hope you already know this song. And you can sing along with me if you want. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, all are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Okay, now I have another song that I think you'll recognize too, but I'm not singing this one. It's recorded. Yeah. 
So there you go. The Bible tells you so that Jesus loves you. And now we're going to talk a little more about love since it is Valentine's Day. Now this verse I'm sure you've heard before, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And continuing in verse 17, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to teach us and show us how to love God. Now in Mark 12, verses 28 to 31, it says, One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, Of all the commandments, which is the most important? <coughs> Excuse me. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. <coughs> Excuse me. This tells us how we are to love. Love one another. It's as simple as that. Sometimes it's hard to love people when they annoy you or bully you or people that don't like you. But Jesus tells us, love them, period. We must be kind to people. When someone's being ugly to you and you're kind back to them, they don't know what to do with that. And sometimes they'll just walk away. In Corinthians, <coughs> excuse me, we learn more about what love is. Chapter 13, verses 4 through 8, and verse 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Now we hear these verses in wedding ceremonies a lot about love between a couple. But it was written to the Corinthians by Peter to tell them about God's love and the love they should have for one another. So here on Valentine's Day, we have learned about Jesus loving children, God loving us, Jesus telling us to love God and love one another, and about what love is. God indeed wants us to know about love. I have included some fun pages in your packet to go along with your lesson, and a valentine from me, and a valentine whistling lips. What fun! And also, a little valentine airplane, just for fun. Don't forget about Ash Wednesday this week. Will you join me in prayer? Dear God. Thank you for the love you have for us, for the love Jesus has for children, and for the lessons on the love we need to have for one another. As we enter the Lent season, let us remember Jesus' life, his ministry, his sacrifice, and his wonderful resurrection. Amen. So next week, we'll be back with Jesus' miracles, the feeding of the 5,000, which also involves a child. Bye-bye.